Hey everyone, welcome back. I've mentioned in the past that I'm traveling the country right now in an RV, uh, which has been an awesome adventure, but I only have about 15 square feet for all of my tools and equipment and 3D printer, so this has presented some unique challenges. Uh, like the need to store around 60 hand tools in a six inch by nine inch space. I've printed this desktop tool holder a few years ago and it served me really well, but as you can see, it was made for a very specific set of tools and it took me something like three days to print and took a ton of filament. Of course, as I got new tools, that meant I never wanted to print a new tool holder. Uh, I printed some inserts to adapt different tools into some of the existing slots, uh, but over time I acquired more and more tools that didn't fit the tool holder. And then one dark day, my favorite super glue manufacturer changed their bottle size and it was more than I could take. So I needed a desktop tool holder system that was easy to pick up and store while being adaptable and expandable for future needs. I didn't see anything on the usual websites so I went ahead and designed my own. Uh, it's a simple design with a standard repeating unit size of 20 millimeters by 60 millimeters. It has a set of rails here, which have a small inset at the bottom that allow the dividers to actually snap in. There are some perpendicular supports here on the bottom of the rails. Um, I did this because I had to print mine out of PETG just due to the temperatures in the RV, um, and that's a little bit too flexible. If you're using a deeper or wider divider that doesn't fit, you can easily cut out one or two of these. So I created sides and bottoms that actually can bolt onto this rail system. I have two standard rails here, the lower and the middle one, and then I just have a top thin rail uh, that has room for three perpendicular dividers for taller tools. I also made allowances that with some round spacers, you can bolt two of these units together. All of this is held together with some M4 bolts. The dividers themselves are fairly straightforward. I have three base dividers that are either one, two, or three units wide. They could obviously be wider. I just did that for my purposes. I use these standard dividers for pliers and things that actually fit that standard shape. I also have a variety of custom dividers that I've created for my own specific tools. I just use one of the base dividers and actually make edits to that so that I don't lose any of the dimensions. This has been awesome because if I get a divider design wrong, I don't feel bad and I can just 3D print a new divider and not waste a whole ton of filament reprinting the whole uh, storage system. Uh, there is one other feature here. If you notice on the divider rails, uh, the tops are angled at 45 degrees. This is so if you create a closed bottom divider, uh, you don't need to print a ton of supports to support that closed bottom. And you can just have a 45 degree or a four millimeter chamfer at the top uh, on the divider itself. So I'm gonna post all the files for this up on printables.com. I'll put a link down below. Um, I'll include all the CAD and STL files for all of the standard stuff that I've already designed. You know, I posted up on this website so it's easier to remix and link these designs and hopefully people can make uh, whatever they need for their own particular desktop organizer. So I know this is a really short video, uh, but let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this type of video and I might throw mo some more of these in between some of the larger builds. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.